hello everyone welcome and welcome back to grow my so in this video we will look at the important radio anatomy images okay so the integration of the radiology as well as the anatomy because frequently questions have been asked on these things so they'll give an image of the brain cross section of the brain and they'll mark a thing and they'll ask what is this so it comes in radiology also anatomy also and like frequently questions have been asked on this so all these were a pyq and let's discuss all those things now so let's start the discussion and uh, so first we will look at this image and the questions asked were marking an image of the internal capsule oh uh, no not this one the internal capsule okay so this is the internal capsule which you can see this is the anterior horn this will be the uh, middle part and this one will be the posterior horn of the internal capsule then uh, the putamen so you can see here that this will be the putamen and also the lentiform nucleus okay so lens kind of nucleus uh, in which this uh, putamen is a part of it then the head of the quadrate so this one is the quadrate and this is also a pyq asked and the third ventricle this is the third ventricle these two are the lateral ventricles and this were also asked the third ventricle this was also a pyq then this one is the external capsule the marking here you can see uh, just uh, before or just beside the the lentiform nucleus it is the external capsule okay so this one will be the internal capsule like this then that one will be the uh, internal capsule and the external capsule then about the thalamus so this part this here these are the thalamus then the straight sinus so this was also a pyq asked and this one is the straight sinus then the other important things internal uh, capsule posterior horn then the globus pallidus putamen already discussed and these are the intracerebral veins not that important and this one is the optic radiation so the questions asked from this uh, which were the pyqs are this quadrate then about the ventricle, then the internal capsule, the putamen, the globus pallidus, and the straight sinus. Okay. So these were the questions which were asked. All these were PYQs. Image-based questions only were asked. Then let's look at another view of the brain. And in this we can see various other structures. So this one is the th thalamus. Then this one is the cingulate gyrus. This one is the lateral ventricle, the frontal lobe, then the hypothalamus. Then this pons was a PYQ. So the image like this was given and they had marked this pons. Then likewise midbrain also was asked. So this one is also a PYQ. Then fourth ventricle was also asked. So this one is also a PYQ as well as a repeat topic. The fourth ventricle have been repeated like multiple times. And this one is the corpus callosum. So uh, this one is also a repeat topic or a repeat question. Then the occipital lobe we all know. Then the cerebellum this one is the cerebellum then the medulla so midbrain pons medulla and then this one will be the spinal cord okay so these are the very basic things and also the basic structures which you must know because if uh, by chance you do not know about this then in exam this question comes it will be like quite um, disturbing ki itna asan question humne sahi nahi kiya okay so uh, better to know all these basic things and uh, read it from now on now only so that if it or question comes we do not miss it then about the hand bones so x-ray of the hand bones and these were also the pyqs from the anatomy so we all know that these are the four metatarsals but the questions can be asked like first second and third so you can easily identify it so let's look at the other bones of the wrist uh, because these are important and frequently questions have been asked on this the image based questions only so this one is the capitate which is like huge and this one is called as a captain due to which uh, because of its size matlab ki ye bada sa hai thoda sa size mein theek hai isliye capitate so you can remember like that then just beside the capitate is the trapezoid so this one is the trapezoid this one is the trapezoid and beside it there will be the trapezium okay so trapezium trapezoid capitate and uh, beside the capitate there will be the hamid be this side uh, beside the capitate on the ulnar side there will be the hamid and on the radial side you can see trapezoid and the trapezium just below the trapezium you can see the scaphoid and scaphoid bone is the favorite topic of the examiners because questions are asked on this like the fracture of the scaphoid bone then the uh, anatomical snuff box it is related to the anatomical snuff box and all those things okay then this one beside the scaphoid it is the lunate then beside the lunate it is the pisiform bone this one 
this one is the triquetral so pisiform bone is like quite small and it comes in touch with this ulna so you can come to know by looking at this uh, that it is uh, present in relation with the ulna okay so these were the important bones from the hand then let's look at the elbow joint because questions have been asked on this also the lateral epicondyle this was a pyq then the medial epicondyle this was also a pyq or you can process this one was also a pyq so this one is the humerus the upper bone humerus yeah radius hai, ye anna hai. now the parts of these things and also the uh, structure related to it then the trop Kilia, then the coronite process so these are the important things this capitalum also is important see medial epicondyle lateral epicondyle then this olecranon fossa then olecranon process this capitum these are the important things and these were the pyqs which were asked okay about from the elbow joint then moving on to the lower limb so lower limb this joint knee joint so the bones are present in relation with it so this one is the patella this one is the patella then this one is the medial epicondyle this one will be making the lateral epicondyle then uh, you need to see this in relation with this tibia and the fibula so tibia is the uh, larger bone right you can easily come to know about the tibia then fibula is thinner bone so the condyle present uh, just above the fibula it will be the lateral epicondyle whereas uh, tibia towards the side of the tibia it will be the medial epicondyle like this you can come to know which if at all this uh, marking is given in the exam then um, the lateral femoral condyle this one will be the condyles this one will be the condyles these one will be the epicondyles then this one will be the head of the fibula then the tibia then medial tibular condyle intercondylar eminence and the lateral tibial condyle so you need to remember these condyles especially these condyles because questions have been asked on these condyles only then uh, so this is an important image and so questions asked were on this navicular so navicular it was like asked multiple time in the jan exam also it was asked in the jam exam i think navicular was asked and also a question related to the brain was also asked okay so these kind of questions have been frequently repeated in the exam so this can be important for the neat pg also so uh, those who are preparing for the neat pg do watch this video and uh, for the pdf join my telegram channel with the name of uh, grow med fmg the link is given in the description box so you can find all these pdf there and uh, do this uh, do watch this video till the end so that you do not miss any uh, important thing then uh, this one are the tarsals metatarsals and by the naming we can come to know right numbers matlab, one two three four we can easily come to know which one is being asked this one is the talus this one is the calcaneum this one is the cuboid then this is the cuneiform this is the cuneiform this one the tibia and the fibula so these were the important things so calcaneum was also asked then talus was also asked and navicular is like favorite question of these uh, fmg examiners then uh, let's look at the CT images of the thorax as well as the abdomen because these were also asked and these uh, the questions asked are like mainly on the structure of the heart. So this one is the ascending iota and this one is the main pulmonary trunk. It is divided into the right side and the left side. This chotus structure you can see this one is the pulmonary vein just present in relation with this pulmonary trunk and beside the ascending iota you can see the superior vena cava then this is the right main bronchus left main bronchus this one is the esophagus very small structure right esophagus hai. vertebral body ke just samne rahega that one will be the esophagus then this one will be the descending iota okay so ascending iota descending iota then this one the right lung then the left lung Okay, so these are the important things and questions have been like asked on these only uh, about these arteries and uh, um, the branching of these uh, veins and the iota. Then these are the uh, muscles which you must know the rhomboid major, then the trapezius, erectrospinae. Then this one is the pectoralis major muscle, this one is the sternum. Then moving on to this image, not the same image, a similar image was given of the heart and the question was asked in the left atrium in the Jan uh, 24 session. Okay, so see this one is the heart, this one is the right um, 
लेफ्ट एट्रियम एंड इट इज प्रेजेंट जस्ट बिफोर दिस वर्टिब्रा वर्टिब्रा के जस्ट सामने इसोफेगस रहेगा एंड इसोफेगस के जस्ट सामने लेफ्ट एट्रियम रहेगा एंड बिसाइड दैट विल बी द राइट वेंट्रिकल एंड हाउ यू विल कम टू नो दैट इट इज राइट वेंट्रिकल बिकॉज यू कैन सी द स्ट्रक्चर थोड़ा सा बड़ा रहेगा ये स्ट्रक्चर में देन दिस वन विल बी द राइट वेंट्रिकल दिन दिस वन विल बी द लेफ्ट राइट एट्रियम ओके सो दिस आर द स्ट्रक्चर एंड दिस वन इज द इंटरवेंट्रिकुलर वॉल इंटरवेंट्रिकुलर सेप्टम एंड द इंटर एट्रियल सेप्टम ओके then moving on to the ct of the abdomen so you can see the um, organs here this one is the liver which is the largest organ and if you identify the liver you can easily come to know ki kis level pe hai and what other organs you need to uh, find it out in this um, image so um, this one both present a little bit posterior these are the kidneys then uh, they can be uh, Above this, there can be adrenal gland present, like suprarenal mass kind of thing. Then this one is the aorta. This one is the inferior vena cava. Then this one is the stomach present in relation just near the left lobe of the liver. Then this one is the jejunum, and this one is the splenic flexure. This one is the pancreas. Okay, so pancreas, ah, uh, here it will be. बीच में थोड़ा सा रहेगा इन रिलेशन टू द लीवर एंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ द पैनक्रियास यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई द स्टमक और यू कैन ऑल्सो आइडेंटिफाई द लोकेशन बाय लुकिंग एट दिस लेफ्ट लोब ओके सो दीज वर द थिंग्स विच यू मस्ट नो फ्रॉम दिस वर्ड सी टी एबडोम देन लेट्स लुक एट द पेलविस सो सी टी ऑफ द पेलविस एंड यू कैन अप्रीशिएट हियर इन दिस द बोन्स ऑफ द पेलविस द आईलियम the ilia crest so questions have been asked on this giving this image and they'll ask at what level is this structure uh, present with the vertebral level so it will be the t4 which is the highest level of the ilia crest then obturator foramen so a question was asked giving this marking and it was asked that which of the following is the structure present um, which of the following is the structure foramen given uh, in the image so it is the obturator foramen then this one is the pubic symphysis and questions have been asked on the type of the cartilage present on this pubic symphysis which is the secondary cartilaginous then less intracanter greater trochanter you need to know the muscles originating from these because image based questions have been asked they'll give the image of the less intracanter and they'll ask which image is uh, attached or which image is getting uh, which muscle is getting originated from this less intracanter then uh, this one is the anterior superior iliac spine then okay so these were the important things which you must know so these are the sacral ala and this one is the sacroiliac joint and the vertebral levels so these were the important things from this pelvis which were asked in the past year and then this one is also an important image and questions have been like uh, asked giving the marking so they'll give a marking something like this and they'll ask which level it is so it will be between 3 3 t4 something like that okay so this one is the c1 This one is the C two, C three, C four, C five, C six, C seven, and these are the spinous processes. Okay, the spinous processes of the C seven is like huge due to which you can come to know that it is the C seventh, which is the last seventh verte, last cervical vertebra, and in between them you can see the in in uh, inferior articular facets, then the interventricular disc spaces and the facet joints. so these were the questions asked like they'll mark one vertebra and they'll ask which level vertebra it is or they can just give any organ so the organ trachea is present at which level trachea uh, then esophagus bifurcation of course at which level as a karke they can just mark and they can ask like which uh, thing is happening at this vertebral level okay so you need to know the images also as well as the whole thing ki kis vertebra ke level pe kya uh, हो रहा है एंड ऑलरेडी हैव बीन अपलोडेड अ वीडियो ऑन दैट वर्टिब्रल लेवल्स विद द नेम ऑफ द हंड्रेड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड एनाटॉमी वाले में भी है तो वो वाले भी देख लेना आप ठीक है सो दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंट रेडियो एनाटॉमी इंटीग्रेटेड इमेजेस एंड डू वॉच दिस वीडियो एंड मार्क नोट डाउन ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स सो दैट इट विल भी हेल्पिंग यू इन द रिविजन रिविजन के टाइम पर यू नॉट बी फोगेटिंग एनी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो गाइज कमेंट्स में बताना आपको ये वीडियो कैसे लगा एंड स्टे ट्यून फॉर मोर थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू द एफ एम जी एज वेल एज द नीट पी जी बिकॉज यू कैन वॉच दिस वीडियोज फॉर नीट पी जी ऑल्सो बिकॉज द कंटेंट इज सेम द पैटर्न ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज 
बट सम थिंग्स वेरी लाइक थोड़े से लेंदी होते हैं क्वेश्चन थोड़े से वो होते हैं बट ऑलमोस्ट इट इज़ सिमिलर ओके सो वंस अगेन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग आई एम डॉक्टर पद्मिनी योर मेंटर फॉर द एफ एम जी थैंक यू सो मच गाइज बाय बाय